Hi guys, welcome to another review and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Wrestlemania 33 Elite Collection Triple H action figure. Anyway, here we have the figure inside the box. So you know, it's pretty standard, you've got Elite Collection here, the name of the character, the window box showing the figure and the accessories, the Mania 33 logo in the back there as well as on top here, 8 Plus, Elite and what have you. Down the side you just got a picture of him, same deal here, and on the back, as you can see there, that looks pretty cool, you got a photo of him. What's weird is, on the back of the Shawn Michaels one, it doesn't actually show the other figures in the line, as you can see here, so that's a bit strange. I'm not sure why, but oh well, I guess conspiracy theorists, do your thing in the comments as to why it's not on Shawn Michaels' box. And on the bottom here, you've just got some copyright crap, and yeah. That's the packaging out of the way, let's get him out shall we? Okay then guys, here he is outside of the packaging and to begin with, let's take a look at his accessories. Starting off, he comes with a WWE Championship, which looks pretty cool as you can see here. It's the first time getting this belt in particular. I don't display it with Triple H though, mine goes on my AJ Styles figure. But yeah, it looks really cool. An issue I had with it was, if you look here, where this border is, it wasn't actually painted, it was just silver and it looked really weird. So I just went in with a marker and made it black, so you know, it looks a lot nicer now. But yeah, it looks pretty cool, you can see where all the diamonds and stuff are meant to be. They've made no attempt to do anything on the side plates, but oh well, I guess. You can't see it on my AJ Styles anyway, so oh well. Nice pattern on the leather to simulate what it would look like, the holes for the other side. You know, your copyright and stuff there. And this pegs together fairly easily. No, this one's still pretty hard to do as well. Some of them are a lot easier to do. For example, the uh, Big Eagles and the Winged Eagle that came in my Shawn Michaels from the same line. Much easier to do. Aside from that, you also get this very, very nice sledgehammer. It'd be cool to be a wrestler and have a weapon. Like, literally, whenever you see it, you think of them. Like... I think of tables for the Dudleys, sledgehammers for Triple H. When I think of steel chairs, I think of that time The Rock hit Mick Foley like 20 odd times in the head in front of his kids. When I think of kendo sticks, I think of that awful, awful kendo stick on a pole match. I mean, it even sounds stupid, but oh well, I guess. It looks really nice, standard brown, but the sledgehammer section looks really nice with the detail. They've given it a nice glossy silver, so it looks awesome, and you can see it sticking out from the top there, the wood. So that looks incredibly cool, as you can see there. Very, very nice. And you have this. Uh, this is essentially what the people that walked to the ring with him was wearing. And they all had like a replica of the WWE Championship around their shoulder as well. And if you're wondering, it fits on him. Looks pretty weird. I guess you could use it for a custom of some kind, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy leaving it inside the packaging. Let's just chuck that to the side and move on to the figure in question. Starting off with, and I'm actually going to remember it this time, do it at the beginning and not halfway through. How tall is he? He stands just under seven and a half inches. It doesn't show that way on camera, but believe me, that is how tall he is. And yeah, that's the figure's height. Let's move on to the face. Now, Mattel aren't very good at doing long hair Triple H, but as far as short hair Triple H goes, they nail it. That looks spot on. It's probably one of the best face sculpts Mattel do. It looks just like him. It's awesome with the beard, the kind of buzz cut. The buzz, it's a bit too long maybe, but I can live with it. You know, it looks awesome. The ears, the face, the wrinkles in the brow, the eyes look awesome. It looks just like Triple H and it looks fantastic. I really do like it. As you can see on the back there, it looks really nice. You've got like a seam line, but I, mean, I can live with it. It's on the back. The book, well, what book are you going to use when it comes to Triple H? You use one of the beefiest ones you have. It's, it's the game, the Cerebral Assassin. You need to give him a good book, and they did that here, so that's really cool. Muscle definition, everything is done really nicely as well. I don't even know what these muscles are called, but yeah, that looks awesome. <laughs> the elbow pads um, have this really nice cross design on the back as well, as you can see there, which look really cool. They have a pattern on them as well. Uh, it doesn't, sh I'm not sure if it's meant to be a pattern, 
but it doesn't come out all that. Actually, you know, I think they're just meant to be slightly weathered. Like, you know, not have a pattern in them, but oh well. Down the front of his trunks, you've got like his logo with sledgehammers coming out the sides, which look awesome. On the back, same deal. That just looks absolutely awesome. And it says something, actually. Let me just take it off and try and read it. Yeah, I can't read it, but it says something. <laughs> I'm not sure what, though, but it looks cool. And then on his knee pads, you have that same cross design with the... Uh, what do you want to call that? Uh, weathering, that's it, so it doesn't look new. The boots look nice, they're all laced up and everything. Got some copyright crap on the bottom. Taped up hands as well as the taped up fingers. You know, I know this is something Ric Flair used to do. And Ric Flair was Triple H's idol growing up. So I'm not sure if that's why he does it, to pay homage to him. But, yeah. Comment down below if you do know. Moving on to his articulation, he has a ball jointed head. So he can look up that much. He can look down this much. He has ball hinged shoulders, a swivel in the bicep, a single hinged elbow, a swivel and a hinge in the wrist. He has an ab crunch, which you need on Triple H figures, so you can get that really cool pose. And he looks up a decent bit as well, so that's really good. He can look down a fair bit as well. You have a waist cut, ball hinged legs, so he can kick forward that much. Go back, not at all. Come to the side this much. He has a swivel in the thigh, double hinged knees. You've got a Boot cut, hinged feet, which also pivots ever so slightly. And yeah, that's really cool. I remember having a Triple H growing up and the irritating thing about him was because it was a basic, you couldn't pedigree anyone unless you... I could, but I'd have to do it about here, so it would look a bit funny, that's where the position of their head would be. But with this, you can actually, you know, get the, head, um, get the legs wide enough for the pedigree and then... Boom. Yeah, I used to have a lot of fun playing with wrestling figures. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying I used to. <laughs> anyway, this is an awesome, awesome figure. <laughs> yeah, I'd highly recommend you pick him up. Brilliant attire, and yeah, I don't plan on getting any more modern Triple H's. So I'll get a more old school long hair one for my old school shelf, but yeah, that just looks awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.